Last season, the Hopkinton Hillers football team finished the regular season with four wins and three losses. They took down Nosset in the quarterfinals of the South Division Four sectionals before falling to Milton in the semifinals. This year, with first-year head coach, longtime assistant Dan McLean at the helm, the Hillers look to get back to the playoffs and make some noise this season. Coach, it's your uh, first season at the helm for the Hillers. Uh, congratulations on taking over the head coaching role. Uh, how are things going in practice so far? Really good. I think the kids are excited. It's a new season, uh, a lot of expectations, um, a lot of inexperience. So we have a lot of younger kids coming through now. And I think it's, you know, being here for the last four years really has helped because I know the kids and I know the system. So we're, we're in pretty good shape. We got some new coaches, but uh, so far so good. It's early in the season. It's early in the, in the camp. You know, we still got two more scrimmages before the season starts, but so far so good. Terrific, and um, obviously lost a couple of good players uh, last season. Uh, how's it looking to uh, replace some of the top players that you lost last year? You know, to replace a Deloyer or a Kelleher is almost impossible, but we're, we get some good, young, specialty kids, especially the junior class. Uh, Robbie Bernardin is going to be our quarterback this year. He's a senior. He's been waiting for this opportunity for, for three years now, so he's getting the opportunity this year. He's playing really well right now. He's listening. He's learning. The kids are excited, you know, I, especially the senior class. I think they're hungry, and we have a very good junior class as well, so I think if we put those pieces together, it's, it's coming together pretty good so far. And for those that don't know, can you just talk about some of your background in coaching? I've been, uh, this is my 16th or 17th season in a row coaching. Um, I started at Franklin as an assistant coach. And then I went to Tri-County for four years. I was the head coach at Tri-County. Um, and then I went to Bellingham for five years. And then I was pretty much going to take a little leave, take a little break. And then Coach Gerard called me and offered me the defensive coordinator uh, position here. So I was here for four years defensive coordinator. And now this is my first year at the helm. All right, Coach. Well, we're looking forward uh, to a terrific season. Congratulations again and best of luck this year. I appreciate it. Thanks for everything you do for the, for the program. We really appreciate it. We'll see you out there. The Hillers lost a number of players from last year, but have some good experienced captains at the helm. I'm Luke McDonald. I play offensive line and linebacker. I'm Zach Levy, running back, linebacker. Uh, Max Lakasha, receiver and cornerback. Robbie Bernardin, quarterback. All right. Um, could you talk about how the practices uh, have gone so far? Sure, yeah. Um, they've been great, honestly, from what I've been seeing this year. It's just a different kind of practice. It's a lot more involved. It's more intense. And our guys really have been handling it well, from what I've been seeing. And I'm, just, I'm excited for it. I'm really glad what I'm seeing. The practices have been great so far this year. Everyone's working together as a team. We're just excited for our scrimmages and um, upcoming season. Um, we really had some fast-paced practices. Um, we don't really get a lot of breaks. We just keep it moving. Um, we're conditioning a lot, just getting ready to run during the season. Yeah, um, lots of moving, high tempo. We got to put a lot of stuff in, but um, I like how the team looks, and um, we're getting things done. Everyone's looking great. The team's looking awesome. Everyone's working really hard. Um, we're doing all the right things in practice and um, just having a lot of fun. Oh, we're going to be nice. I believe it. Our guys, we got a lot of young guys, guys who haven't played too much varsity time. But I believe that we can come together as a team soon in time for our first game against Wayland and be successful as a unit. All right, are you going to are you going to be good to go? Yes, sir. All right. I'm just healing up now, so I'm not at any risk later in the season. And uh, what's it been like to work with Coach McLean? Oh, it's awesome. I love that guy. He's such a good man and a good coach, and he has so much knowledge about the game. I'm just ecstatic to be having him as a head coach this season. Coach McLean has been awesome. Um, he's a great guy, and everyone uh, really enjoys him. Well, Coach McLean definitely has a lot of energy. Um, makes practice fun. He makes you want to work. Um, the rest of the coaches really have the same energy, and they really just make me excited to practice every day. Yeah, Coach Mack gets everyone fired up. Um, there's a lot of energy at practice. Um, I like our coaching staff a lot this year. I think uh, we have a good team. All right, and do you guys have any personal goals this year? Um, I'm just trying to win as many games as we can. I care about the team. Absolutely. Yeah, win as many games as possible. We'll see where that gets us this year. Nice to go. Okay.